Hi, I'm Aranya and this is a series of videos I'm calling Permaculture Essentials. I'm going to start with why do we need permaculture? Hopefully that's already obvious to you and perhaps it's why you're here. Um, our modern support systems, the supply lines that deliver our food and energy and water and so on have become increasingly complex and primarily are driven by fossil fuels and so this has made us actually increasingly vulnerable. Permaculture emerged in the 1970s in response to the oil crisis at the time and the effect it was happening, happening on everything that we do and that we need. And because our lives are driven primarily by meeting our needs, we don't always think about the consequences <laughs> of our actions in the long term. We're not very good at that. And the way our society has evolved, we've become increasingly dependent on things coming from the outside. Very few of us have stocks of electricity, for instance, in a house or water. Most of us, perhaps a water butt in the garden, but that's about it. Supermarkets these days operate on a just-in-time system, which means as things go through the checkout, they're automatically ordered from the warehouse to be replaced in the store. So supermarkets don't have much storage space anymore, at least not in the store. And that means that when things go wrong, things can run out. And most of us don't have food in our gardens anymore. So this has made us all very vulnerable and we're starting to see the consequences of that with rising prices, inflation, energy costs going up, food costs going up. And this is why we need something to help us at this time to create more resilience in our lives and make us less vulnerable. And this is where permaculture comes in. With the increasing problems in our world, we need something to support us, to help us get out of this situation. We need something that will help us to design a better world. So what exactly is permaculture? Well, that's coming next.